After being tempted and teased for what seems like forever, wireless charging is finally starting to arrive. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and we're going to take a look at wireless charging pads from Energizer and Nokia. Before we get started, it's important to know that both of these support the Qi standard. Qi is spelled QI, just in case you were wondering. If you have a wireless device, or a device that charges wirelessly rather, you also need to support that standard. Luckily, I have a Nexus 4, and sure enough, it supports this standard. All you have to do is drop it on the pad, little LED lights up, and sure enough, it is charging. Same thing over here with the Nokia. Drop it, and sure enough, it starts charging. So let's take a look at some of the similarities and differences. Uh, like we mentioned, they follow the same standard. That's great. Right now, the costs are about the same. This guy cost me about 55 bucks. This one cost about 60. Uh, your availability is limited, and that's really going to drive your prices. Some differences. This is a very glossy, very slippery surface, and as you can tell, it is a wedge. We talked about this before in our hands-on with this device. That means if you've got a slippery device like a Nexus 4 and you set it on there, it's going to slide right off as you can see it doing now. Eventually it's going to stop charging. You're going to wake up in the morning and you're not going to have a charged phone and that's not very cool. A couple ways around that. First of all, you can get the bumper for your Nexus 4. You pop that on and it doesn't slide much anymore. Or you can do what I've been doing and that's take your bumper, stick it under there like that, and it works great. Not the intended purpose, but okay, so it's goofy. Over here on the Nokia, it's a lot smaller. And because it's smaller, it's a little bit more difficult to position the phone onto it and have it charge. Now, this is not the intended device for this charger, but because it is a Qi standard, any Qi standard phone should work. One nice thing about this, in addition to its more compact sizes, it's got this little raised and somewhat grippy ring in the middle. So when you put your device on there, it does have some level of grip. You can see I'm holding that at somewhat of an angle, if I can get that better on camera for you. And it's, it's holding on pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect, but, and there, it just disproved my point, but hey, it grips a lot better. It doesn't slide off. I've never had that problem. How do they perform? That's where things get really interesting. Both of these charge wirelessly. Charging wirelessly takes a little bit more time than charging via a hard wire. How much longer? Over here on the Energizer, it's usually about 10% longer to, to get a full charge. To me, that's okay because the only place that I use this is here at home, and or rather at the uh, Pocket Now Home Studio in uh, Utah. But I'm just leaving it there overnight. I have plenty of time. This is the one that I have at the remote office. And it just doesn't like to charge. You can see I've got a little charging indicator LED down at the bottom, but I can't see that when my device is on top of it. I don't know that it's charging unless that charging LED, uh, the notification LED on the front of the Nexus 4 is on, which it isn't all the time. This will very frequently go into a rapid flash mode. Rapid flash means it's not charging right, something's wrong, you reset by taking off, put it back. This guy takes about an extra 10% longer to charge than this guy does. The Energizer's a bit quicker than the Nokia, at least with the Nexus 4. In my experience, the, the Nokia charger just isn't quite as good. Now that's because it's a lot smaller, I believe, it probably has a smaller inductive coil than the Energizer version does, though I haven't torn them down to verify that. It just seems like there's a smaller target space for you to try and hit. Next, if you're using the bumper for your Nexus 4, you're gonna run into a little bit of a problem because it tries to fit right over the edges. So if you get one edge up and one edge off, you're not necessarily going to have that connection. So uh, when you're using the Nokia, try and use it just regular like that. Now, of course, if you have a Nokia phone uh, like the Lumia 920 that has this key inductive charging built in, or I pronounced it wrong again, how about that, this Qi charging built in, this is the device that you want for it and it works great. Other devices that also support the standard, possibly not so much. In summary, I like them both. I like the Energizer a bit better. I hate the fact that it's a wedge and the phone slides off of it, but I would still go and buy each one of these again 
uh, or rather I would buy either one of them again. If I were you, I probably wouldn't buy both. I'd have one in one location and one at another. Uh, have one at your, uh, you know, your day job and have one at home so that you can just keep your phone topped off and charged up whenever you want. You don't have to worry about plugging and unplugging. You just set it down and you don't have to worry about it. Really, the technology is very cool. I like it quite a bit. I think we're going to see more and more of this wireless charging as days and weeks and months go on. But now I want to know what you think. Have you tried wireless charging? If so, what are your experiences? What chargers have you used? Let us know in the comments over at pocketnow.com. While you're at it, why not share this video if you liked it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We're in all three places. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Joe Levi. For Pocket Now, showing off wireless chargers. Thanks for watching.